Hi guys, it's Nancy Trekker here. Today, I'm going to tell you about the time I spent a whole day hiking in the park. I found four waterfalls and a pack of howler monkeys, and I got lost while doing it. Let's go. Hi guys, it's Nancy Trekker here. It is time for another adventure. I'm in Belize. Today is my second day in Belize, and I'm going to go on uh, uh, two hikes today. I'm going to do um, the antelope trail and the big drop trail, and I hope we find some waterfalls. If you haven't already been following me, um, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. But I'm from Canada. I drove down uh, to Puerto Vallarta. Then from Puerto Vallarta, I drove to Hopkins, Belize. Only 30 minutes away from Hopkins or Dangriga, the Mayflower Bocuina National Park is located on mile 6 on the southern highway of the Stan Creek District and covers an estimated 7,000 acres of dense tropical forest. To date, three Maya temples have been discovered and a visitor center has been constructed. The person at the gate collected 10 Belize dollars from me. Uh, it's 5 US or 10 Belizean dollars to enter the park. Since I'm hiking alone, there are no persons in front of me and no persons behind me, so I'm much more apt to come across some wildlife. I'm a little afraid to see a jaguar or something out here alone, but I'm so excited at the same time. You gotta face your fears. Enfrente los miedos. So, come here. Which way? There's a trail there, and there's a trail there. I just heard something in the bush, in the forest, behind me. I don't see anything. So, a big drop trail is 9.81 kilometers, and it has a 580 some meter gain of elevation um, so it's gonna take me a while I guess this way is blocked off Where am I going? Uh, hmm. so so that's the direction I came from so our markers here and this section's blocked off and then there's markers here so what do you think now I'm on the trail. I guess I was off the trail a little bit. I'm not lost. I'm just finding my way slowly. That's a big snake. So this is the Gra Gra viewpoint. In the distance, you can see water. I've climbed a lot of elevation already. I'm guessing this is a water cache for somebody. Okay, that's the way I came from. The trail looks like it used to go that way. There's a flag over there. But in between there, it's a big mess. I think that's where I need to go. I'm not lost anymore. I found my way. The sign said to go to Tall Whips.
so it's 11 o'clock. I am at the peak. So I'm beginning my descent down into Big Drop Falls now. Um, and it's downhill all the way from here to Big Drop. So the man at the entrance to the park told me that they're making a mountain bike trail, but it's not quite done yet. I'm guessing this is not a mountain bike path though. Tracks, I don't see any treads and look where it goes. Yeah, that would be a snake path. That scared me. It was always. I have no idea how that scared me. <laughs> this leaf just dropped in front of me, and uh, all I saw was movement right in front of me. So, it scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I'm expecting jaguars. <laughs> Boy, he wasn't kidding. This is a big drop. <laughs> A big hill that I have to climb. He told me to do a big drop first um, because of the big hill that I have to first descend and then climb up again. This is cool. Just gonna take a little rest here. Whew. You guys, I want to get everything on video. It's so hard because. I have to navigate holding onto these ropes. It's really steep and there's not a lot of terrain that you can stand on. Can I see the waterfall right there? Oh my God, we're in for a treat.
about what, I don't know, maybe a third of the way up. I gotta go back down a little bit because I knocked my head on this little branch and my hat went right down there. Ooh. I just don't do it. It's steep. It's a very difficult climb. Do not attempt this if you're not an experienced hiker or if you have um, some mobility or health issues. Uh, don't even try it. But it's so worth it if you can do this. It's big drop falls. <sighs> Trying to catch my breath. It's a big trek up that hill again. All right, here we are. Big drop waterfall done. Next, Peck Falls. Peck Falls. This way. Here we go. Ooh, that was a big climb. See a snake up there on the road. Oh, not a snake. Not a snake. Is this some water? It's tricky. It's uh, a bit slippery here. One thing people ask me about um, is how I hike in this hot weather of Belize and Mexico. Um, well, where I hike, it's rainforest. We have canopy, the shade, pools, everything. And I think I just heard of my clock. If you like my videos, please leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe. Right now, uh, the trail really didn't seem to go anywhere. I'm just trying to find my way. <laughs> There's so many routes you can trip on. Uh, maybe, I don't know. I'm maybe try, there's a trail right there, maybe. But that's the direction that I came from. I guess that was the trail I was supposed to be on. Otherwise, I think I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna go that way. Yep, this looks like trail. Oh, yep, there's a marker. There we go. I'm back. I'm glad I didn't load the all trails map for these other two waterfalls because I don't even know if this is one. Um, I'm just going to carry on on the trail. It's, it's really, I mean, it's a 10 foot waterfall, nothing really spectacular. So I'm going to try and carry on the trail to see if uh, it leads me to a better one. Because right now, <laughs> I am not on the trail. It's, uh, I am in the jungle and trying to fight water and bush. <laughs> Is this the way I can? Okay, here's the sign. Big drop. That way. So I'm gonna go that way. I might be a little off trail. No, there is a sign. There is a sign. So this is the trail. This is the trail to, well, Tears of the Jaguar maybe, or Pax Waterfall. Depending on what waterfall that was, just it's kind of muddy. I'm glad I wore these shoes. I don't mind getting them a little wet. Think this is the trail? What do you think that is? What do you think? In the heart of the untamed jungle, where every turn hides a new mystery, 
I found myself lost, surrounded by nature's unyielding embrace. But in this vast wilderness, I discover clues to guide me home, using the river's flow, the beaten path, and ancient trail signs as my compass. It's very overgrown. This is the trail between Big Drop Falls and Pex Waterfall, or Tears of the Jaguar. So I think what's happened is the trail gets packed by human and animal footprints and it gets flooded out because I just had that dead end and it looked like it was the trail there there were markings but it obviously ended um, some time ago and I believe I'm on the right trail now I just had to climb up a short little cliff and uh, do some bushwhacking again in the Belizean jungle completely off trail. There's the marker on the other side of the river. This is not a thing. This is the leaves. I think those are monkeys or gorillas. I haven't seen anything, um, but it sounds to be, um, they sound to be up in the trees and I keep on getting lost because they, they make me do detours. I don't want to go into their territory. And uh, so now I'm, I'm at a stream again. There's a frog right back there. Right, right here. Hmm. Right it's my intuition that you go across the river. I was hearing that in the wild, in the forest of Belize is completely different than hearing that in a zoo. I, uh, my heart was pounding, I was so excited. Uh, and then when I got lost, I had no idea which way I was supposed to be going. Um, it was a frightening experience, but at the same time, exhilarating. I'm alive. You know how good that feels to be alive. Um, you guys, if you're if you're going through something or you're struggling to make ends meet, uh, focus on what is instead of what isn't. Um, and I think this is the trail. What have we here? What's this? Tears of the Jaguar Falls. Okay, so, oh yeah, I guess what we found earlier was that other waterfall. Um, I'm gonna go down to this one. I'm here. Let's do it.
So, at least I found two waterfalls today. It's almost, uh, it's 2.30 or so. 2.30, so I should consider getting back to the car. I have a 5.30 um, dinner reservation in Hopkins. So I, I don't know how long it's gonna take me to hike back, but this is the far point of the Bocowina uh, forest or, or park. And I am hearing that noise again. Those monkeys are up ahead. So I never did find Peck's waterfall. I took a different route, I guess. Um, Peck's waterfall, I, I mean, there was a waterfall that I saw. It didn't look like it was much and it was very overgrown. I don't know if that's Peck's or not. There was no sign at all. And it's strange, but I guess it's the road is accessible maybe at this far west end and then again at the visitor center. So people maybe tend to hike in just one direction and they don't do the loop like I'm doing. See, and this trail looks like it's going to be eroded. It's on a stream and that bank is eroding a lot. I'm wearing my Bandra's Bay Project shirt. I'm officially the world ambassador for the Bandra's Bay Project, courtesy of Louis Salazar in Puerto Vallarta. Uh, Louis organizes a once a month cleanup of the beach from Boca de Tomatlan to Playa Las Animas in Jalisco, Mexico. This park is immaculate. I've only seen two pieces of garbage and I've been hiking for five hours now oh what is that it's a picnic table in the middle of nowhere And so after hours of exploration, I accomplished my goal. Four waterfalls, four marvels of nature, and countless memories to cherish. As the sun sets on my adventure, I'm reminded of the importance of preserving and appreciating the beauty of our natural world. Join me again soon for another unforgettable journey into the great outdoors.